Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, it's Jordan here. Today we're gonna to continue working on the custom LEGO hospital modular building here in the LEGO city. So this thing has recently been improved and also relocated here in the LEGO city. In fact, it wasn't even in the LEGO city for quite some time, but now it's in a pretty cool spot. It's sort of like central between the residential area and also the downtown core. And what's really neat about its position here is it actually has an ambulance pull through. However, the ambulance pull through is currently blocked by some vegetation. And then there's this really neat park that sort of works with it, but not really. Some things need to be repositioned there to better accommodate the hospital. So the building has recently been improved. However, there's nowhere for these patients and doctors to go because it's still lacking some interior details. So today we're gonna better fit it in its position here and also add interior deeds. So here we have the ground floor and there's actually been some changes that have been made to this floor. Uh, the tiling has been completed and there's also a front reception desk. This is the top floor and it actually has a continuation of the elevator. So that will align with the elevator on the ground floor. And then there are some interior walls there as well. And then two hospital beds. These hospital beds are pretty snazzy. Simon whipped these up when I was out playing around in golf. How cool is that? And he actually did this probably like two or three weeks ago, I think. And they've just been hanging out inside here until we got a chance to finish the hospital details. In addition to those hospital beds, he also made this. This thing is crazy. It is an MRI machine. Look at that. Isn't that a neat build? It is missing one piece right there on the left side, but We'll try and wrangle up one of those to finish it off, but that is so neat. So one of the floors, uh, one of the empty floors, I should say, of the uh, hospital is going to have this MRI machine and I'm sure some other fancy equipment as well. So this floor is already being constructed. We've got two empty floors. We've got this ready to be put into one of those floors. And then we also have all of these additional small details over here. Uh, this thing is like the x-ray. Uh, you can view the x-rays. It's got the light and then we've got the uh, glass panels right there. There's a skeleton for anatomy and uh, the little uh, bed for babies, right? And all sorts of little stuff here that we could put into the floors. And then I'm sure we'll come up with some other uh, little mini builds as well. There's also the roof that has the helicopter pad and the roof has been changed. There is the skylight now. So now there's a little bit more light coming into the building. And I think that's pretty cool. Those are like uh, car windshields for like Lego creator expert cars. I'm not sure where I got those from. But yeah, they were in my inventory and I was like, yeah, it's a pretty cool way to add a skylight to the hospital. Uh, there's also been some additional lighting added to the helicopter pad leading up to the elevator, which once again is on the roof as well. So the first thing that had to be taken care of was the elevator. Now it looks consistent on all of the floors. It has the button on the left side, the doors that are offset with jumpers, and also the lights on the snot bricks or the headlight bricks above. And that matches on all of the floors, including the ground floor. Now these studs are sort of bothering me. Not a huge fan of the exposed studs. I know most modular buildings actually have exposed studs on their like second and third floors. And our uh, ground floor is already all tiled off, but I'm just thinking if I'm able to tile it off, I probably should do that. Luckily for me, I found all of these uh, pieces on the pad wall. We've got the one by eight white tiles, uh, some one by two jumpers, and also some two by four white tiles. And then I've got a whole bunch of other white tiles. And I think if it's just tiled off in all white, it's gonna look pretty cool and pretty clean and match that hospital vibe. All right, so you saw the nicely tiled off ground floor with the updated elevator, the reception desk, and that planter. It also has the uh, sliding doors on either side, this one here for the general public, and then this one here for the ambulance, and then the ambulance pull through there. Pretty snazzy. Check out the second floor. We've got the curtains that are put in place there with some snot bricks, also some hosing, and then one by eight tiles with the clips. And there we have one of our beds. The other bed is in the center. And like I mentioned, we could only build two of this style of bed from the parts in the inventory. So we decided to stick the uh, baby NICU in the uh, center there, like the baby bed, whatever you want to call it. And maybe like, it's a story. Maybe the uh, mother's off giving birth to the baby somewhere. 
Does that make sense? I think so. I'm a huge fan of the curtains because it got away from using walls in the hospital. All the other floors have walls and curtains like these are quite commonly used in hospitals. You also notice that the tiling on the floor uh, sort of frames the bed. So we got the blue tiles and then the white tiles surrounding. And there is also another reception desk here. That was built using a pretty cool snot technique. Uh, you can also see there's a lady there. She's got her coffee, some donuts, her computer, a plant, and also today's newspaper. There's also a little uh, cart right over here with some other uh, things on it, like a purse and some food and a coffee cup. So there we go. We've got the first and second floor. Third floor has the uh, CAT scan and put the walls in with some of the uh, window glass. And it's got like the trans dark window glass, so it's nice. You can sort of see in there, check out the CAT scan. There's a clear glass door there as well, which looks pretty nice. Another clear glass door here. So you can come up the elevator. There's a little uh, seating area right there and a little TV mounted there as well. It's to keep you entertained while you wait your turn to go into the uh, CT scan or MRI scan, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right here, we've got another uh, area. This is where you can actually find out your results of the x-ray. So there's the waiting spot right there as well. And a nice little... Uh, uh, cabinet that I made there with the uh, with magazines and newspapers and whatever else you'd find in this area and then once again this has the light bricks what you can do is you can take the x-ray you can load it into the machine and that will shine onto the white panel there so that one there is an x-ray of a hand and then there's a couple other ones so pretty neat little mini build there so yeah there's our uh, specialty floor with the uh, CAT scan and the x-ray machine and now I did mention that this was gonna be uh, ICU, but no, this is actually general care. Does that make sense? The area with the curtains, I think so. And then uh, our top floor is the uh, specialized care. Got a little story right here. This mother is not happy with her son who is currently standing on one of the chairs in the little waiting area. There's a little planter that's not mounted in place there. And then some more plants in the curved glass window area right there. Got the elevator, and then our first specialty room. This one's nothing too crazy, just got a standardized hospital bed in there. Some guys getting checked out. This guy has got some bad news coming his way. The doctor's just breaking it to him, and he is highly upset about that. Got a sticker element on the wall there. This is designed for kids, this room. This is, uh, I guess, an older kid. <laughs> the short legs don't adapt to studs, so I had to use long legs. So there you go. <laughs> He's finding out some bad news. Uh, pretty cool sticker element on that bed as well. And then there's another little cabinet right here with some stuff. There's some uh, like things that can entertain people, some magazines and some little gadgets. And there's a little snack in there as well, I believe a cookie. And then this one here is the uh, optrician. So you can get tested. You can see if you can see the different symbols there or read the letters. Can you see what it says on uh, the right side there? If you can read this, you have good vision. There you go. <laughs> and then there's a little cart right here as well. So pretty cool little hospital. I think we've uh, been able to, or we're able to put a whole bunch of stuff in here, uh, tell a bunch of different stories with minifigures, which is exciting. Uh, there's some stuff that was from sets and there's some custom stuff. And I think it looks really good and sort of just gets the job done. Definitely the best hospital that's ever been in my Lego city. And let's stack these floors and have a look. So this is actually the first time that I've stacked the hospital with the interior details. And at first glance, I love it because you can actually see action inside the hospital through the windows, right? And I think the thing that really adds to it is the white tiled off floor, because if you can see all those studs through the windows, it wouldn't look as attractive as it does with the white tiles. So it's pretty cool. You can see all those stories that we've created here today through the windows from the exterior on all four sides. I didn't want to sandwich this hospital like between buildings just because you wouldn't be able to see all of those interior details. In fact, there's one that I forgot to point out. It's actually a corner shelf right there in the uh, MRI room. But yeah, this is where the elevator shaft is. That's why these were filled in and then some of the windows actually have to be shifted around on this side here just to hide some of those walls. For example, this is the curtain room so there didn't have to be uh, any shifting around. The 
uh, one by two by five white panels didn't have to be there because of the curtains, which is actually pretty cool, but they had to be added to this floor just because the walls line up with those and they needed to be evenly spaced with those. I don't think that that takes away from it at all. I actually think it makes it look pretty legit and I'm pretty happy with it. Oh yeah, one other change is uh, this H was added to the bottom here and the black H on the top was actually updated as well. They are different. This one uses the larger brackets and this one uses like the, the one by two brackets. This one is two by two, so it is a bit thicker. That's just because it didn't have the one by two brackets for the top. But I actually think it's pretty cool because the H now wraps around this red beam or column that spans the entire height of the hospital. All right, so now that I've got that created there, it's time to place it in the Lego city. And like I mentioned earlier, I've got to make some adjustments in order to do that properly. So the vegetation on the side of the road has been completely ripped out and replaced with a sidewalk. And then we also have the Poland for the ambulance, which just makes sense. There we go. I guess maybe I should round these. Ooh, never thought of that. Maybe I should round those corners. So I tore it all apart again, and this is what I've got going on now. Decided to put the line break in, so the white line breaks, and then it's dark gray plate, which replaces the white plate. And then I'm gonna put the uh, curves in like that. These curved plates like that there. And what I did is just put two plates stacked on top of each other and then a tile. And that's at the same height as the Polin. And then when this goes here like that, it's just gonna make it look like it's road. So yeah, I forgot to do that for some reason. I don't know why. That's gonna be much better. Now I just need to go through here and complete the sidewalk. There we go, I think that looks super clean. Now the only thing I have to do is fix up this park in front of the hospital. Not very many modifications had to be made to that area, just had to split the hedge right there and then connect the pathway to the sidewalk. The hospital has lots of stories inside, but I wanna add one more story to the outside. And of course, that is somebody being hauled into the hospital on a stretcher. That guy has had a rough day. And there he is being rushed out of the ambulance and into the hospital to get the treatment that he deserves. So there we have the new and improved hospital. Everybody pretty fired up that was able to add all of the interior details to that mock here today. It's now placed in the Lego city and looking pretty incredible. Thank you so much for coming on by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. Farewell.